I think you were eight years old when Alabama played Texas uh, in the Rose Bowl. Do you remember anything about that game? Uh, no, I was I was pretty young. Yeah, I was. I don't really have any uh, memory about that game. Uh, probably was watching college football. Probably had it on and, and just don't remember it. And uh, with the running game, how would you say that you guys ran the ball in the traditional, not the, the scrambles, but the traditional running plays this week? Yeah, I think we execute well. Um, you know, credit goes to the O-line and uh, all the running backs. Um, you know, there's a lot of running backs that got to play, and I think they all took advantage of the opportunities. They're all, you know, we're very deep at that position. Um, so, um, you know, obviously that's extremely important for us, um, being able to take what the defense gives us and be, be balanced. So um, I think the running game gave us a, a huge boost offensively. I'm not sure how much film you've got to see on Texas up to this point yet, but do you have any early thoughts on just their defense and what you've seen from them? Yeah, um, it's an extremely well-coached unit. Um, you could tell that they they play together. Um, really athletic, really talented, and also really disciplined. Um, you know, they're they're a, a really good group. They do a, you know, they they do a, a lot of things, but they they communicate it really well. Um, so again, that that shows how well coached they are, how how good they are communicating. Um, so you know, it's an extremely extremely talented group, very well coached. Um, so we know the challenge that's ahead of us. So we have to do all we can to prepare to um, try to put ourselves in the best circumstance. What uh, makes Coach Sarkeesian a good play caller? Yeah, I think, um, you know, I think it's just, you know, obviously he has a, has a really good system. Um, and I think it's a lot just about having an eye for that stuff. Um, you know, Coach Sark just, you know, for my time with with him coaching me and him being the OC here, um, he kind of just was always, you know, was always one step ahead as far as knowing what he had. He always had a process. Um, and there was a lot of stuff he just, you know, he kind of just felt out. That was just um, kind of natural off instinct. Um, so I was able to learn a lot while he was here. Um, obviously a great, great play caller, great coach. Um, so again, we, we know it's going to present a challenge. So we have to do our best to, you know, be prepared and put ourselves in the best circumstance. Going back to your basketball background, you got a nice little Euro step there against Utah State. Uh, how much do you analyze Steph Curry out there? <laughs> um, yeah, that's that's definitely my favorite um, basketball player. Um, is yeah, it's it, it Steph. So um, yeah, that's you know that that's definitely someone who 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 I look up to. Um, but that was just a you know a celebration that I had with with J Mill, uh, my guy. So it, it's something that you know we've been doing actually for a minute now. So I, it's kind of a, a tradition thing at at this point. Hey Bryce, so everybody gives Alabama their best shot. Um, how excited are you guys to play a team like Texas on the road this early in the season? Yeah, um, this is this is a great opportunity for us. Um, again, a, a story program, a great team, and us being able to travel there. Um, you know, we know it's going to be a very hostile environment. Um, obviously, you know it's going to be it's going to be hot. So there's going to be. Um, you know, us going into circumstances like that, I think it's a great opportunity for us. Um, again, we know the challenge it presents. Um, we have to be at our best. We have to do all we can throughout the week to prepare and put ourselves in the best circumstances. And, you know, I think whenever we, you know, you get an opportunity like this for us, it's a it's a great chance for us to, you know, to try to step up to the plate, to try to grow and, and show who we are as a team. A great game last this weekend. Does that build confidence? Jerry won a big award and all that, but does that help? To, to have a monster game week one like that going into a big game like Texas? Um, you know, for me, I think that um, I think it's, it's not too much uh, of, of carryover. I think that uh, for me, it's, it's about watching the film after seeing the things that, um, you know, I didn't do as well, trying to improve on that and then seeing the things that I, I did do well. And then how can I build on that? How can I make that consistent? So um, for me, it's more of a analytical, just just analyzing how I how I played the last week and then, um, you know, working throughout the week. But um, I don't think my after, you know, whether it's good or bad, any performance I have, um, you know, we have the 24 hour rule. So, um, you know, after you know, after those 24 hours, you know, you just take what you can to learn from it. And then you kind of take the motions out of it. You mentioned your celebration with JML. Just you got to see him with a little bit more extended reps. What did you see from him on the night and how much improvement has he made? just this off season. Yeah, you can tell he's a lot more comfortable back there um, making checks. Um, you know, he's getting through his progressions, knowing where to go with the ball, um, uh, making good decisions. So um, just seeing how much, like you said, he's, he's grown and, and progressed throughout from watching him all last year. And then obviously he's a lot more comfortable in the offense now, a lot more in command, a lot more in control. So, and then, you know, not everyone gets to see, you know, you, you just get to see the Saturdays, but throughout the week, um, you know, he's, he's working really hard. Um, He's he's understanding things a lot better in the in the meeting room. Um, you get to hear how he sees things and he's he's processing things super quickly. Um, so I'm super excited for him um, and you know the development he's had throughout his tenure here. We got three more questions. 
Uh, two quick questions. Number one, with the Russian performance that you did on Saturday, should we expect more design QB runs? <laughs> uh, that's a, that's a uh, that's a question for Coach Obi and uh, Coach Saban. So you know whatever whatever coaches call, um, I'm I'm gonna run it and try to execute it. And the second question is going into Texas, obviously going to be hot playing in the middle of the day. How are you preparing yourself? How your team is preparing to deal with those temperatures? Yeah, um, our our training staff and um, our nutrition staff and um, everyone's training conditioning, they've been uh, doing a great job of, of providing us with, with whether it be, you know, salt packs, it's, it's the, the Pedialytes, the, um, you know, whatever we may need, sodium shots to, to try to get us get us hydrated. Um, we have hydration tests that we take um, throughout the week that keeps us updated as well. Um, so our, our staff has done an amazing job of making sure that we understand how important it is. Um, like you said, we know that there's going to be, um, you know, we know it's going to be hot. So, um, you know, it's not something and that you just you know start the the day of the game or the night before um you know they've been emphasizing it us uh since we got here um this morning to to make sure that we're hydrating throughout and they they provide us with all the hydration we need so um, all the credit goes to our staff who's been really making that a point of emphasis for us you've got some new faces up from the offensive line just what did you see from that group saturday and, and how is that unit kind of coming along yeah, um, you know, I think up front they did a great job communicating. I'm um, playing physical and fast. Um, you know, we we got some, you know, we got some some tough looks sometimes, and I think they did a great job of picking stuff up, of, of firing off the ball in the run game, creating a lot of a lot of open holes for our running backs to take advantage of. So, um, you know, like you said, it's you know there's some new faces, and for this to kind of be their, you know, for that group and that unit to it to be their first first game, um, I feel like they did a great job, and you know, I have all the confidence in the world with them. Uh, Bryce, just go through your recruiting profile again. I know you got a bunch of big offers from big schools around the country. Was Texas a school that ever approached you or did you ever consider looking uh, at Austin for a place to go to school? Uh, yeah, um, I had a yeah, I, I was recruited by by um, University of Texas, um, you know, back when I was still in high school. Um, and I visited and again, just, you know, we have a ton of respect for, for them as a program, um, for, for the coach staff, for the players, um, you know, we understand again, the challenge is going to be, um, so, you know, from there, and then, you know, when you cut on the film, you know, you, again, you know about that, that program, we know what it takes. Um, you know, we, we know it's going to take everything from us. So it's on us to make sure that, you know, we're the most prepared we can be, put ourselves in the best circumstance from preparation this week and, and try to execute to the best of our ability.